You can't show that on camera. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Oh, shh. So, I've got this, the boring company, not a flamethrower, flamethrower here. And uh, the reason I have this is because I've got some really cool things to show you in this video. Some fire stuff, as they say. Ah! And uh, let's go inside so I can show you. It's something very, very top secret from HRE, so follow me. Say hello to my little friend. You can't show that on camera. I'm blowing up. I think that one went too much. That one went too much. You can, it breaks glass? Oh, I didn't know that. All right, guys, so let me shut this off. Enough clowning around. All right, guys, we've arrived at the top secret confidential spot. Let me show you what HRE sent us. Let's go downstairs so I can talk a little bit more about it. What we have here is, looks like it's from outer, outer space, looks like it's from the future. It's none other than the HRE 3D Plus wheel. This is version two. They had a version one a couple of years ago and they made some changes to it, to the design of it and also to the uh, amount of pieces that are put together of it. But you guys already know this wheel, it's become quite legendary since they showed it off a couple of years ago for the first time. It's a concept wheel and HRE worked together with GE Additive AdWorks to create something very special and to kind of push the envelope um, with wheel manufacturing and design to kind of give us a glimpse of what we're gonna see in the future. So it's kind of very similar to what auto manufacturers will do at car shows when we used to have car shows before COVID, but they used to have a concept vehicle, show off design language and things that are possible in the future. And that's exactly what HRE has done with this wheel. As you can see, we've got a dry carbon barrel, which is unbelievable. I actually pulled a carbon barrel that we had upstairs just lying around. And this is not an HRE barrel, but this one here obviously is working together with the HRE wheel. I just pulled this one out so you guys can see this has a glossy texture to it and this is just pure dry carbon. You could actually feel the entire uh, weave and all that, so that's quite cool. It makes the wheel extremely lightweight. So this is a 21 by 12 and a half, which is the rear fitment that we use on cars like the Audi R8, Lamborghini Huracan, sometimes even the Ferrari 488 or the FA Tributo. And this wheel actually weighs 19 pounds. So you saw me pick it up with one arm and I'm not a really strong dude to be quite honest with you, but the carbon barrel in combination with this 3D 
plus wheel titanium powder is absolutely incredible. So the weight of this wheel is because it has the carbon barrel, but more important, it's the titanium center section, which is actually five individual pieces. If I spin this bad boy around, you're gonna see kind of an interlacing between these, which actually makes them all put together. And I think I have a piece lying around right here. So five of these bad boys make up the entire center face design. So you'll have one, two, three, four, five. Nothing right here. So they all interlace on this little section here and create that beautiful, gorgeous, crazy, unique center face. And so with the way that the, that the engineers designed it, you'll see these holes right here. You actually see my finger just disappear. It's not a magic trick. The center cap is actually elevated on the wheel, which is pretty cool. And then you have the design language, which is somewhat of a blend between the HRE P201 and the HRE P101. I actually have these off to my right off camera. So I'll just step up just a little bit here, grab this piece here, and you're gonna see this right here. So you'll see the split fork, which is this section here. And then you'll have the diamond section, which is right here. So this is the S201, the three piece version of the P201 I just mentioned. But as, I, as you can see, it's kind of a, of a little, bit, little bit of a blend between two of the more popular styles from HRE. And so this piece that I have holding in my hand is made of titanium. It's 3D printed. And this is an actually a legitimate guide that HRE sent me of things I had to follow, things that I should say, things I shouldn't say. And so just the whole manufacturing process is beyond my level of expertise in, in wheels. It has a lot of things to do with laser beams and things like that. But uh, the guys at HRE joined forces with GE Additive Adworks, as I mentioned earlier in the video. And it, what's called, it's called additive manufacturing. And the reason that it's additive manufacturing is because with a traditional wheel, like the ones I just sent you, it starts off as a 100 pound block of aluminum forging and you shave it down all the way down to basically a 20 pound wheel, which is what a P101 or something of the like would, would weigh. And so you're subtracting aluminum material from those wheels. This is in a way the opposite. We're actually adding uh, through 3D printing and it's gonna be titanium. So it all actually is all a powder and then they blast it away with some high power lasers. It's somewhere in here, EBM, electron something. I mean, it's just absolutely insane. The, um, the futuristic te technology that this is. talk a little bit more about the titanium material that they use. They use a titanium called TIE 64 and titanium as an alloy is typically heavier than a traditional aluminum, which is what they usually use. However, it's much stronger than the standard aluminum. Uh, in reality, it's probably about 60% heavier than the aluminum, but since it's stronger, that means that you could take out more material and it's still a lot more durable than an aluminum would be. And so because of that, this is a really good uh, alloy to use, especially since it's uh, resistant to corrosion, which is a problem that you would have in, in states where it's cold weather or you live close to the beach or things like that. And so this titanium, this right here, I mean, if it's a pound, I would be, I would be shocked. I mean, it's, it's extremely lightweight. The machining, how they do on the diamond section of it, but they leave everything else in a kind of like a, a textured a little material is really, really cool. 
and then just looking at where the assembly bolts would go. It's the small things like this that guys like myself geek out on. They didn't have to do something as unique as this, but they did. They have these little cutouts here, and then on the front side, you have a design here as well. And these, they, they must have spent hours and hours and hours and, and, and days and weeks and months probably designing this thing because you know you would think that on an interloping spoke or intersecting spoke they would be like all right guys we did it you know game over we've, we've killed the game we've already done something that nobody else has done and it, and it looks pretty cool and it's actually durable and, and usable but no they're like we want more so they just kept on pushing the envelope and pushing the envelope and this technology is kind of in, in its infancy, but this kind of gives us a glimpse into the future of, of what HRE might even, might even be doing down the road. All right guys, so that does it for this episode of Wheels Boutique. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I want to give a special thank you to HRE Performance Wheels for the opportunity to review the wheel. I want to thank GE Additive AdWorks also for helping HRE to create this masterpiece. So, you know, without the imagination from both of these major brands, this wheel would not be possible and uh, I wouldn't be able to get my jollies all filled. Is that, is that a term? Jollies all filled? it is today so i'm just gonna take this home with me and uh see you guys in the next episode let us know what you think in the comment section below subscribe make fun of me do everything you gotta do to make yourself feel better i'll see you guys later hey tree's gonna be really mad when i take this home <laughs> this is star trek stuff i lost sleep last night studying this that's how crazy this wheel is